99k uh, top tension unit. I know a lot of you get them around the wrong way, so this is the order that they go in. Obviously, there's a little pin in the middle there first. The pin's already in this one. You just see it flying out there. So, the first thing you want is the tension spring, a little check spring. It just sits on there. Now, usually, if you put it in at about uh, 12 o'clock and then just spin it round to there that normally gives you about the right tension depending on how old the spring is of course but it's just something you, you'll get the feel of it with experience but if it's a good spring if you put it in at about 12 o'clock you'll usually find it's about right so then the next thing we need is the, the two tension discs now the biggest tip here of course is make sure they're absolutely spotless clean because if there's any dirt on that surface you're never going to get the tension right. So first thing, give them a good clean up, make sure they're nice and clean. And then pop them on, one goes that way and one goes the other way. So there's one there, there's the next one and then we just need this little bit here, the plus and minus. That goes to the top there it is on the top then we need the little beehive spring that's your little beehive that just sits in there that's what's actually going to give you the tension and then there's this little washer now that faces out towards you you can see it's got a little pin on the top of it that's got a face towards you then we need the numbers there's the numbers Put it on anywhere you like, it doesn't matter. We're going to adjust it afterwards. And then, last of all, a little knob. And if we're lucky, it should be set on five to give you the perfect tension. If it's not, you can set it on anything and then turn the tension unit around by pushing it in and turning, and it will adjust the number. So that's the order that they go back in.